The world watched in horror when in 2012, Hurricane Sandy cut an awful path of death and destruction from the Caribbean to Canada. Thousands of miles away in San Diego, James Brennan saw the Rockaway Beach neighborhood of New York, where he had grown up, get swallowed up by the storm. Within days, Brennan was walking the devastated streets he recognized, yet were beyond recognition, determined to help any way he could. And he could help a lot. James Brennan doesn't think small. He set up Rockaway Reach, a fund through Catholic Charities to solicit donations. He orchestrated a caravan of relief, two tractor trailers of desperately needed supplies, ranging from generators and space heaters to towels. Soon thereafter, he arranged for eight families to be temporarily relocated to San Diego so children could continue in school while their neighborhood recovered. And months later, Brennan helped organize an online toy drive that brought to hundreds of kids the Christmas that Sandy had very nearly stolen. The kids got what they wished for, Brennan said, and they were told to shoot for the stars. The New York Post reported that a substantial donation to fully finance the wish list came from an anonymous San Diego donor. In Sandy's devastating path was the Harbor Light pub where Brennan had worked his first job as a busboy when he was 11. He took that experience and the willingness to work hard to San Diego. After graduating from USD and a stint in the mortgage business, Brennan returned to his restaurant roots, and San Diego would never be the same. First with Sidebar, then the legendary Stingery. Brennan's company, Enlightened Hospitality Group, was among the early visionaries that remade the blighted gas lamp district into the heart of the city's nightlife. Other landmark night spots followed. Seersucker, Herringbone in La Jolla. But feeling the business plan was virtually on autopilot, Brennan sold Enlightened Entertainment. His latest venture, Suja Juice, has been touched by the Brennan magic. Just ask Forbes. Brennan may be even more busy at home than the office. In what passes for spare time, he sits on the boards of Catholic Charities of San Diego, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and Cathedral Catholic High School. His success is paid forward. Just ask the families in Rockaway. <laughs>